Okay, hey guys, Awesome Swag 80 here, back with another Awesome Swag 80s movie review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the movie Eternals, the latest Marvel, well, not latest, by the time this comes out, Pro Hawkeye is probably, like, already on its fi final episode, but, like, the late, well, I mean, by that time, that would be the latest Marvel movie. Anyways, the latest Marvel movie, Eternals, by Chloe Zhao, with a bunch of actors, <laughs> We got we got Kit Harrington from uh uh what's it called uh Game of Thrones. We got Angelina Jolie. We got um um Camille Nagiami. We got um we got Sprite. You know Sprite himself. Um, <laughs> anyways, yes, I saw the latest Marvel Eternals movie, and I was blessed enough to have been able to watch it before all the reviews came out, so I have an unbiased opinion. I saw it with my friends and a couple of other guys, and I honestly <clears throat> thought that the, mo the movie was pretty good. Um, the friends that I saw it with, they said it was pretty good, but the friends that came with me but sat somewhere else they they didn't like it i i, I don't I don't, I don't they didn't explain why they didn't like it they just said nah this is one of the worst marvel movies ever i don't think that i don't think this is one of the worst marvel movies ever i mean it's yeah it's got some flaws here and there but i don't think it's the worst marvel movie ever like me and my friend we had like a rating system for this movie and for it to have a 5 out of 10, we have to come at least 3 times. And honestly, I come like 3 and a half times when I saw the movie. I'm not sure about her. I think she come like 5 or so times when she saw uh, Harry Styles at the end. But, uh... Anyways, now that I have reincarnated, um, I think the characters of the movie really are, like, the second most best thing in the movie, alright? I think the first best thing is, like, the grand, like, the visual of the movie is, like, the way they, the way they, like, portrayed the big-ass Celestials made them look so fucking gigan gigantic <laughs> gigantic whatever the fuck that means gigantic you know especially in like a theater like looking up on that that, that, that was really cool and like how they um like defeated uh what's her name Tiamat the dreaming celestial also is there just canonically like a head and like some fingers coming out the ground in earth and it was like it's like, is it canonical that like, the Earth is being fingered by a celestial or something? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. And um, what's her name? What's Mac Macari? Her like, her speed, the way she looks when she's like running around, that shit was fucking awesome. I love that. I love that. I I'm I'm tired of all this like oh. I'm so fast, but like you see me walking normally and everything around me is slow. I want to see them going fast, you know. I don't want to see them walking normally with everything slow around them. I want everything to be normal around them while they're fucking moving at mock speed, you know. And like when Makari like beating, what's it, Icarus into the wall and like the wall started getting hot because of how fast and like friction and everything, like kinetic energy. That was awesome. I, I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, kinetic energy. Uh, heat. And... Uh, oh, uh, uh, you know? That, that, was, that was cool. That was cool. So yeah. The CGI and the visuals in this movie. Chloe Zhao and everybody else. The cinematographer. They did a pretty good job. With like all the lighting. And uh, what's it called? Mesopotamia and everything. Through the... Through the... I don't know. Those little tents and shit. And like I, I thought, I thought the visuals were pretty good. The CGI were pretty good. Like it was a pretty, pretty, it was a pretty, pretty movie. You know, some places here and there, yeah, it was pretty, pretty bland. You know, typical Marvel shit. 
But, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, the second best thing I thought was the characters of the movie. Um, let me see if I can name them all. There's Dina, Kingo, Druig, Makari, Sprite, I mean Sierra Mist, <laughs> um, Ajak, Big Mommy Milkers, um, there's Icarus, Cersei, is that it? Oh, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, and, uh, Fastos. I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're all pretty good. Some were ass, you know, uh, Sierra Mist. She, she just, just suddenly just betrayed them just because she had a crush on Icarus. Which, I mean, I kind of get it, but like, you've been living with these people your whole life. And just because, just because a man got in your life, and now you're going to betray us? I mean, like, girl, like, what the fuck? Uh, I mean, like, haven't this pact of 7,000 or so, 10 billions of years, like, grew us together and like made us one whole and like a man just comes into your life and you just drop us all for his dick i mean I'm, are you serious girl i can't believe this kingo he was just comic relief i don't know why he didn't do anything at the end it just made no sense like you're the one who like benefits most from humanity you are our actor that gets his stardom his fame from humanity and if humanity dies then you get nothing you're just Kingo, the the guy, you know, like what the, what the fuck? Ajak, um, she just, she just dies, you know, she's just dead when we meet her. Um, I don't I don't really feel like motivation for her, you know. She's just like, ah oh, yes, now after billions and billions of years, um, I decided, hey, you know what, humanity isn't that bad, you know. Like where where did where where did that come from? I don't I don't get it. Big mommy milkers. I mean that's the only thing that's saving you for this movie. Like those those big mommy milkers. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, <laughs> Icarus. He I don't really get him. I he's not good, and he's not great either. And he's but but he's not bad. I mean, he was menacing. But throughout the whole movie, he was so bland. He was he was always with one facial expression, just like, uh, yeah, cool. That that's basically Icarus, you know. I the only time I really remember him showing any sort of expression is when he killed Ajax and when he was <laughs> when he was fucking Cersei. All right, that that's the only two times I remember he had any sort of human expression. But at the end, I thought it was pretty cool that he killed himself and flew. Icarus flew too close to the sun. Oh dearie me! Oh, oh good heavens! Oh dearie! But yeah, he was kind of, he was kind of bland. He was he was monotone. Oh, and in the end, when he started crying because he remembered all the thousands thousands of years he's been fucking Cersei, and then he joined the Unimind. That was the only three times I've seen him like have any sort of expression. Throughout the whole movie, he's just a piece of paper, just a white piece of paper, you know. Um, yeah, and he's pretty similar to Superman. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Fastos, he, Fastos, he was alright. He was, he was that gay icon. They had to add to the movie for diversity, and I was, I liked him. He was okay. When he, that uh, scene where like he's in the nuclear explosion thingy, that was that was really powerful. That was that was a really good. Um, and I like that they really didn't like shove in our face these gays. Like, oh, I'm Fastos. Also, did you did you know I'm gay? Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, LGBTQ community, uh, come watch this movie. But yeah, I shall help help you save the world because I'm gay and you know I like, um. Yeah, I, I just like Dick, and, um, yeah. But yeah, Icarus, I trust you. Not because I'm gay or anything, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, straight, so, um, uh, trusting a straight man as a gay person, because I am gay. I don't know if you know that, but I'm, I'm pretty gay. Um, that seems pretty, that seems pretty good to me. And, uh, yeah, I shall say goodbye to my husband. Because I am gay. I am a male, and I like to know the male, because I am gay. Did you know that I'm gay? Like, they... I mean, they didn't really subtly hide it. Like, 
we knew it, we knew it, but like they didn't like shove it in our faces, which is pre I like that, I like that, that's cool. Um, who else do I gotta talk about? Druig, he's he's alright. I understand. I I like his motivation of uh, I have all this power. I can control humanity. Why can't I help the people? Why can I why can't I help these people stop fucking each other? Right? I I understand that, and he did pretty good. But I felt like they could have done more with his character. He was just like, um, yeah, I don't like you guys, so I'm gonna just leave. And then he left. That's that was it. Um. Yeah, I thought they could have done more with Druig. Hopefully they could. In the beginning, I thought that Druig was going to be the the main bad guy of the movie. But uh, I guess not. And I like I like I like his relationship with Makari, but um Makari's mine, bitch, all right. Anyways, yeah, I like that little subtle relationship between Makari and uh Druig. They didn't like fuck on screen like Cersei and Icarus did. Talking about Cersei, she, I don't know about her. She, she's a, com, she's, she's a, com, uh, what's the word? She's, she's a good, she's a competent leader and uh, main character of the movie. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel her, you know. I don't really feel her like Icarus. <laughs> I don't really feel her like Icarus did, you know. Back in 10,000 years ago in the dunes of Mesopotamia and shit, you know? But, um, you know, I, I kind of felt like she was a little bit like Icarus. She was kind of, her facial expressions were kind of monotone. Except for some parts, you know, she was more expressive than, than Icarus. I'll give her that, you know, and her powers really came in use when, um, she killed that one deviant and, uh, Celestial guy. She's good. She's good. She's better than Icarus, but like not top tier, you know. Um we got Druig, Fastos, Icarus, Sir there's so many characters in this movie, man. I mean like I understand them but at the same time I don't, you know. Like I felt like they could have cut a few characters here and there and would have gotten a much better movie, much better character development for some of the characters. Um, who else do we have? Who else have I not talked about? Gilgamesh and... Dina, that's what her name is. Gilgamesh, uh, he's pretty cool, you know. I felt he was such a sweet guy. He did everything for Dina, man. I, when he died, that was, that was pretty sad. Even my friend, I like, cummed five times when seeing, uh, don't mind that, that's, that's crampy. He's sleeping right now. Are you gonna breathe? Breathe, Scrampy, breathe, breathe, Scrampy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, she, she, she was sad. Everybody was sad when, uh, when uh, Gilgamesh died. Even my gay friend that was with me, he didn't give a shit about Fastos. He cared more about Gilgamesh. <laughs> I don't know. I just find that funny. Yeah, he was pretty cool. I liked him. He was, he was, a, he was a cool, sweet guy, and, and his powers are pretty cool. Athena, Angelina Jolie, I don't know, she was kind of not used well in this movie, you know, her star power and everything. She was good, but like, she could have been better with the Mad Weary and uh... Yeah, I don't know, when she, when she killed Crow, the, the deviant and bad guy, I didn't really feel that. I didn't really feel the connection there, like, I didn't really feel like she wanted to take revenge. She was just like, oh, it's a bad guy, I'm gonna kill him. Ooh, gee whiz! And, uh, yeah, if they could have put more of a connection between Crow and the Eternals, or specifically Dina, then it would have made much more of an impact, but as it is right now, it's not that pretty cool, uh, yeah. And Crow, he was just completely wasted, they didn't even name him, man. He, he just appeared in the third act, and just like, hey, um, yeah, I'm here now, did you forget, did you forget about me? And, like, I thought he was gonna, like, join the, the Eternals to fight Icarus because, like, he doesn't want to die either, you know? But it, it just... It, it, such a wasted potential there, man. Such wasted potential. You know? I don't know. The Deviants seemed so cool, and with Crow being, like, a sentient Deviant, kind of, like, that, that would have been so cool. I would have loved to see that. But they wasted that. Uh, yeah. 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I talked about this before. It, it's been like a long time since I've continued this, but uh, yeah, the music's pretty good. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, oh, 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 what's uh, Karun, Kar Kar Karun, uh, the Kingo's like assistant director. I don't know. I love that guy. He was so cool. He was so funny. I think it was funnier than Kingo, man. I loved him. <laughs> With this like endless supply of like cameras, that was funny. Wasn't that funny, Scrappy? Scrappy. But uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, putting this movie into the swagometer, I would give the Eternals a solid. Scrappy, what would you give the Eternals? Hmm. A uh, 72 percent? Hmm, that's pretty... I don't know about you, Scrumpy. I would probably give it more of a 74 percent. You know, it's not one of the worst movies, but it's not also in the... the great scales, but, um... Yeah, I see your point, Scrumpy. I see your point. Um, yeah, a 74 percent I would give it. Um... You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a 73% because Grampy gave it a 72% and I give it a 74% so it's going in the middle, 73%. Yeah, Scrampy, does that sound good? Yeah. Scrampy said yes. Anyways, that's it for today's awesome Swag 80s movie review of The Eternals. You want to say something, Scrampy? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's it for today's awesome Swag 80s movie review of The Eternals. I shall see you, fellow lads, in another time. Salutations, uh, humans. <laughs> <laughs>